awesome uh, temporary filming location today. I'm actually in my brother's room, but I have a very exciting video that if you're an influencer or creator or you have a small brand on Instagram, this is going to interest you for a few reasons because there's stuff going on beneath the surface between all these social media apps, a little bit of a war going on over shorts or TikToks or spotlights or whatever app you want to call it. And there's a lot of area of opportunity for us as creators. So you can see here I'm on this article. Instagram is working on a new bonuses payment option to incentivize Reels creators. So obviously an Instagram Reel is one of those really short videos uh, inspired by TikTok, just like Instagram, uh, which is owned by Facebook, stole uh, the stories option from Snapchat and really left Snapchat in the dark. They're obviously taking on uh, a lot of the characteristics and elements from TikToks as TikToks absolutely exploded in popularity. And now Facebook's like, cool, we want a piece of that market without having to buy TikTok itself. And so they came up with Instagram Reels, which is basically the shorts that are inspired by TikToks. Now, what's actually going on is a little bit of a battle inside this industry where everybody is wanting to own this shorts industry. So YouTube have YouTube shorts. Uh, you can see Snapchat here have Snapchat. I didn't actually know this until now because I'm not a big Snapchat follower or fan. They have uh, Snapchat Spotlight. And uh, Snapchat have actually been paying $1 million per day to the top Spotlight creators, meaning just like when I'm posting this YouTube video to YouTube, YouTube run ads in front of this or in the middle of this, and we split, me and YouTube, the, the money coming in from those advertisers. Now, this has only really been done on something like, I know there's a couple of blogging sites that do it, but no real social media site has actually done this, uh, except for YouTube and TikTok started doing it up until now because now there is a choice between where you want to be posting to, where do you want to be growing your audience. You now have a lot of different options and uh, a lot of people are moving online and you know, you can grow a brand on TikTok, you can grow a brand on Snapchat, on Instagram, um, you can grow it on YouTube. There's a lot of different options. And Instagram used to have the power to just limit your reach like this and you couldn't do anything about it, you couldn't go anywhere else. But now it's starting to be a little bit more decentralized and there's other big apps that you can grow your brand on. So Instagram's like, well, we know the world is trending towards short form content. Everyone's liking these 10 to 60 second shorts uh, that are backed by music and the tips are really quick and it's really easy to like, uh, you know, sit there and watch your TikTok for like two hours straight just because they keep grabbing your attention just like Vine did back in the day. But Instagram's gonna miss out on that because there's not actually that many people obviously as they need posting to reels. So to incentivize people posting to reels, there's this new thing coming up called bonuses. And this is the first real look at Instagram actually incentivizing you beyond increasing your reach for these new features by actually uh, getting paid for your content. So I've pulled up the screenshots from this tweet uh, that one of the early influencers has access to. And you can see here, it says, get paid for your reels. Earn bonuses from Instagram when you share new reels. Now you can see this is not all content. This is just Instagram reels at the moment because YouTube and Snapchat and TikTok are all paying for this short form content. And Instagram, once again, want to be a contender in this and therefore they're starting to open it up to more incentivization in order for you to be posting. Track your progress, see how much progress you've made towards your earning goals, and then access new earning opportunities. Keep up to date with new bonus opportunities as they become available. So I was watching a YouTube video, I'll uh, link it up in, in the video, that uh, this guy was saying that he believes this will almost be like an influencer ranking system where depending on how many views you get to your reels or uh, how many people actually engage with your reels, you progress up the ranks and be able to access new opportunities. So the example he uses, Coca-Cola, might be like, if you can get 100,000 uh, views on any of your reels, we'll offer you $100. And anyone is open to that once you're inside bonuses and you just have to keep posting your reels until you open that 100,000 views and therefore get your $100. Uh, and it could be uh, the more views you get, the more opportunities are gonna then come your way and be available to you. So you can see here, uh, this is from the tweet as well. You can see the little URL where it's from down here, uh, that inside the creator options menu right here, there was this new thing called bonuses, which these are all available before, but the bonuses is the new one. And once signed up to it, it looked apparently like this. So create new reels and select which bonus they should count towards before sharing. So the bonus might be which brand is offering that uh, money or the 
uh, extra reach or some form of payment for your actual reel. Track your progress, review new bonus opportunities as, as they become available. So you can see that's the same three things as over there. So what does this mean for us as creators? Basically, it means it shows which way these big apps and social media channels are leaning. They're leaning towards what's working really, really well right now, which is shorts and TikToks and um, spotlights if you're on Snapchat. So make sure you're, know, you're knowing as a small brand or business or influencer how to create these and how to post these and what goes really well with that. Secondly, make sure you're cross-promoting between all of these platforms. It's very easy to do, very simple. If you're creating it on one area, you might as well put it on your two or three or four areas that you're growing your brand on. Learn how to take uh, long-form content or even short-form content and break it down and contextualize it for the platform you're actually posting on. And number three, keep posting, keep being consistent because one thing that I've noticed being in the social media game a while is new opportunities arise every three to four months there's going to be new features there's going to be new apps there's going to be new opportunities new ways to get paid and if you're just consistent and you stay with what you love and you keep creating the stuff that you're really passionate about these options and opportunities are going to be opening up for you consistently and all you have to do is just take advantage of the ones that work for you if you like this video hit that subscribe button hit that share button below and that like button all the buttons below hit those and i'll see you in the next one